Do you remember that scene where Harry writes on a piece of paper, but text appears on his hand? This idea, Hub, feels just like such magic, just kids and business friendly. And if you think it is a touch screen, you're wrong. So it's not detecting touch, it's actually scanning everything what's happening and all around the frame is infrared light. And this is how seamlessly that gets transferred. This is just one application of Wavi Ikit in education industry. In this video, we are going to look around how this technology impacts every industry. Okay, not every industry. If I would show you everything you saw at Wavi Connect 2025, this video would be two hours long. The theme of this event was all intelligence. And that's really what I heard and saw. And what I mean by that is, instead of seeing promised land of AGI or ACI, I saw a focus on practical application of a powerful technology to make lives easier in education sector, hospitality, small and big businesses, and of course, healthcare sector. If there is one thing that I have taken from all of this, it's that the underlying catalyst making physical spaces feel smart and like magic is these boxes. And I know it's not the most sexy thing, but if you think about it, every sensor, every data input and output, the physical space needs to smoothly connect with a digital space. So for example, in a hospital where ethically and legally you would not film the patient in a room, right? However, it's super important, for example, if a patient fell, that you immediately detect. How do you do that? Well, these Wi-Fi devices use channel state information, CN to sense their surroundings. The technology works by analyzing how a person's movement disrupts their overall Wi-Fi signals in a room, allowing the system to detect abnormalities. So therefore, me as a nurse can immediately get notified. Or for example, in a doctor's office, something as a monitor, you would think it should be in every office, but that's not the case. It should be absolutely normal and expected for doctors to have solutions in their office. They can just double click and get high resolution image to diagnose patients without leaving their offices. And if you're a business, you know, sales happen online. I think China has proven it again and again. Online sales come hand in hand with live streaming. You know those viral videos where it's like live streaming and ladies selling millions. The magic behind that is this bad boy. Now, two important things. If you are in a crowded place like this and you want to live stream and you want to sell your product, products that your stream is prioritized, not just somebody browsing. So these optical access points do exactly that. It prioritizes if I'm streaming live. By intelligently identifying live streaming traffic and optimizing the live streaming experience. Now, second important thing is inside of these, there is a little antenna. And if I start walking around the shop and I show products, that antenna is actually following me. Hotel, get AI to help you manage Wi-Fi demand. But not only that, this one room, one fiber approach can cut cable mess by 80%. I don't know who likes cables. If you're a startup, you get your first small office and you, maybe you hire a couple of people, maybe physically in place, maybe remotely. All what you need to start is really Wi-Fi router and let's say digital screen for meetings. This idea hub together with a router, all of that is thousand bucks. Like you get that, you're good to go. For larger business, you can get full solution with integrated routing, Wi-Fi, VPN, and web management. All this in a single device to build entire network. And for school, everything that you write gets translated into digital and you can immediately save it and share it with students. You have multiple students working with tablets and want to share 60 students collaborating on their tablet? No problem, just one swipe and all 60 students can view teacher screens simultaneously. Let's be honest, 
If I showed you robots, that would be an entertainment. But while we enjoy debating AI impact and transformation, schools and hospitals are still stuck on the old systems and infrastructure that even if you sprinkle the latest technology, that infrastructure can't carry the weight required to enable, for example, AI features. We want to use the latest AI, but good luck to you if you are stuck in a hotel with a horrible Wi-Fi signal. And I have been on so many Zoom calls where we talk big AI game, but the moment we need to share a screen or someone's mic is not connecting, the whole meeting gets derailed. And don't get me started even on hybrid meetings where some of the people are physically located and others are joining online. And it was refreshing to be asked to cover solutions that actually address everyday problems. I'm saying all this because this trip to China really allowed me to step out of my own bubble and broaden my perspective of the impact and how can we use this powerful technology to make it feel like a mogul magic. And I want to leave you with a famous quote from Sir Arthur Clarke, any technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. Did I spell it correctly? It's crazy how well it translates, no? It's so good.